Guys, what's up? My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach and relationship expert. And in this three part video series, we're gonna be talking to you about how to meet girls at nightclubs and how to take them home. Pretty controversial topic, but pretty raw and pretty real. And over the past eight years, I've traveled to 50 plus countries while also having a nightlife business and having an incredible amount of experience in this area. I've spent hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds, really thousands of hours in nightclubs, bars, different nighttime venues all over the world in 50 plus countries in six continents, as well as in my home city of Toronto, Canada. And if you apply everything in this video, from part one, part two, and part three, you're gonna learn in incredible detail how to effectively take women home and gain intimacy. You're gonna effectively learn how to create these amazing relationships from bars, nightclubs, nighttime venues, and you're gonna have a lot of fun in doing so. So let's just jump straight in. All right, so welcome back. We're in part two of the three part video series of how to pull girls from nightclubs. Well, you're already dressing well, going to the best clubs, you know, wearing your best outfit, looking good, calibrating the environment. Obviously, if you're going to a daytime venue, you're gonna dress for the daytime. You're gonna dress in cool overs and a nice white shirt for the cool beach day party in Miami, right? Or maybe you're going to the nightclub and you're dressing in a blazer, cool scarf, a nice Rolex watch, or whatever it is, right? Well, you're meeting hot girls, you're approaching girls, you're being social, you're talking to girls, you're just casually bumping into people, everyone's drunk, everyone's having a fun time, you're at the bar, you see a cute girl, you make eye contact, you have a conversation, now what? How do you take her home? How do you pull her? How do you get the results you're looking for? Right? Which could be a cool, fun night experience. Could be you finding a girlfriend from a nightclub. It could be you creating some sort of interesting, intricate dynamic of women you're seeing. Uh, it could be you just being a crazy swinger, having lots of fun. Who knows? I don't know you. What I do know is if you apply everything in this three part video series, you're going to get killer results. So let's talk about it. Essentially, there's two main ways on how to meet women in the nightlife that's going direct or indirect. Typically, in nightlife, it is super appropriate to, and okay to be a little bit more direct and demonstrate your attraction to a woman. So it's okay to let her know that you find her attractive, especially in nightlife, it's almost assumed. And if you don't, you'll kind of get a friend zone. So that's a good way to go direct is letting the girl know you're attracted to her. I'm attracted to you. I find you intriguing. I find you attractive. I am attracted to you. I think you're sexy. You're so hot though, I love you. No, you're hot. <laughs> to be honest, you're just yummy as fuck. I just want to say hi. You're fucking adorable. Thank you. I really just want to say hi. You're adorable. I'm Justin. You have nice eyes too. Thanks. You guys are. You guys look yummy as fuck. You get a hug. I love you. You're What's your name? I'm Justin from Canada. What's your Justin, name? Cool. You're yummy. I like your fashion. Thank you. You're cute. I love yummy. Yo, you guys are slim thick as fuck. Oftentimes, you can literally walk up to girls in a consensual and respectful way and just let them know, damn, you're super fucking gorgeous. I had to say hi to you. Or, wow, you're incredibly fucking beautiful. I had to meet you. Great to meet you. Or, wow, I love your aesthetic. You are stunning. Or, wow, you're incredibly fucking sexy. What's your name? Right? You can assume oftentimes if they're going out and they're not surrounded with a bunch of boys, they might be single. Oftentimes women do like to go out to bars, clubs, social environments to meet guys the same way guys like to go out to meet girls, right? And so it's great to be direct, but you want to always make sure you're doing it in a way that doesn't make anybody uncomfortable, being an empathetic person, using statements of empathy to make sure you're not making anybody uncomfortable. Now you can also do it indirect, and this is better for nighttime social circle venues or social circle environments. Maybe you're hanging out with some friends from college. You don't want to be the creepy PUA guy hitting on every single girl. You don't want to be the creepy weirdo aggressively trying to get in every girl's pants, right? And so what you can do is be a little bit more subtle, be a little bit more indirect, and that's typically done through body language, okay? When you're flirting with a girl, maybe you're doing it very subtly in a conversation, but you're doing something kind of like gaming with your eyes in a very, very non-threatening and subtle way. Okay, and then what happens is that kind of gives you signs of is it working or not? Because either you're gonna get something called indicators of interest, showing that she's attracted to you, 
or you're not, right? And so you want to be a little bit more indirect and subtle, use your body language or even let her hit on you in certain types of environments. For example, maybe you guys are having uh, some sort of like, you know, work thing at the bar and at the club. Now, at the same time, imagine you're out with your coworkers at a bar or nightclub and you see a cute girl you want to talk to. Well, you also don't want to like go approach a hot girl in front of the entire office or in front of women you work with and get blown out, rejected or an awkward situation. So that's why being indirect and being a little bit more subtle would be a very strategic thing to do and a very social aware thing to do if you see a cute girl you want to talk to. Because oftentimes you can't just be the aggressive guy who wants to hit on every single woman. Now there are times where that might be slightly inappropriate, but usually it isn't in general. And so you want to be very socially aware and socially calibrated for the environment to make sure everybody involved feels comfortable. Now here's an interesting topic. Should you buy a girl a drink? I have a general rule of thumb. At nightclubs, there are something that us club promoters call bottle rats, bottle seagulls. It's these annoying girls who come over to you being like, can you buy me a drink? Will you buy me a drink? Or let's say you order some bottle service and you got all these bottles and they just want to hang out with you for free shots and run away and never talk to you again. Ideally, I personally will never give a girl a drink unless she came with me or unless she's going home with me. So it's one of those two things. So unless she came up, came with me, came on my guest list, or came out to see me that night. She's not getting a drink from me. Unless we're really vibing, having an amazing conversation, really liking her, and I want to buy her a drink just because I like her, not because I'm trying to get anything, not because she's trying to get anything. That's my general rule of thumb. So typically, if a girl asks me to buy her a drink, typically I will not buy her a drink, right? Because oftentimes it's coming from a place of taking not any win-win dynamic. But oftentimes I will buy girls drinks all the time. I'll go to the bar, buy everyone drinks. I don't even drink alcohol. I'll buy everyone drinks just for fun, right? I'll buy everyone, you know, tequila shots while I drink a little Red Bull, right? Just so I can add value to the environment. But you don't have to. You really don't have to. It's up to you. It's up to your budget of what you want to spend money on. You don't have to buy girls drinks in order to, you know, have any sort of intimacy or success. In fact, it's ideal that you don't go for drunk girls. It's ideal that you know you go for girls who like you when they're sober right and so drinks isn't even necessary so now you're at the nightclub you're having drinks you're having fun you're being social you're meeting people well how do you actually meet girls who like you you want to screen girls screening screening you're looking for finding out if the girls are down for you screening girls or dtf right i mean look you're at a bar, you're at a nightclub. I know tons of women who go out to bars and nightclubs to pick up guys. So there's nothing wrong with being a young single man who wants to go out to nightclubs, bars, nighttime venues to meet girls in the hopes of potentially meeting an amazing life partner, whether that's a one night life partner or a long-term life partner. So essentially, you wanna be able to figure out how to find the girls who are attracted to you. And so typically that is done through two things, verbally, and non-verbally. So that's usually in body language or in verbal expression. So what that means is you can kind of look for the women who are kind of checking you out, feeling you out your vibe, or like even just like intrigued by your fashion, your grooming, the way you carry yourself, your body language, and kind of go for those girls. Or you can actually have conversations with these women and kind of just figure out like, do you like me? Are you into me? Do you find me attractive? Oftentimes I'll even ask that to women. I'll say, hey, do you find me attractive? Right, I'll approach girls say, honestly, you're super adorable, nice to meet you. So you're meeting these beautiful women, you're having a great conversation, it's an interesting back and forth, and you're not sure if she likes you. How do you know if she likes you? It could be from her eye contact, it could be from her face expressions, maybe she's smiling, maybe she's playing with her hair. You don't know if she has a boyfriend and she's just using you for attention and validation. You don't know if she's a lesbian. Maybe she's bored. Maybe she does like you. How do you know? Well, it is acceptable to logically ask her in a very challenging way, do you find me attractive? Are you attracted to me? Do you think I'm cute? Do you think I'm cute? Do you find me attractive? Be honest. I won't get offended. Let her know. Do you find me attractive? Be honest. I won't get offended. 
right? Imagine how that's gonna make her feel. She's gonna say, whoa, okay, like even the way you said that was attractive, so I guess you're attractive. Now she's logically telling herself, wow, he's attractive. <laughs> you almost tricked her into thinking you're attractive, right? So you actually want to find the girls who are what we call yes girls. The girls you don't have to fight for, the girls you don't really have to game, but the girls who you find attractive who are attracted to you as well. If you dress well and if you uh, you know, carry yourself with a high degree of class and you work on yourself and you're constantly proving yourself, there will be women out there who find you attractive, right? If you have all your limbs, if you don't have Down syndrome, if you're not like fucked up in some way, shape or form, there's probably a girl or two or 10 in the nightclub who are attracted to you. And so it's acceptable to go find those girls and potentially build an intimate relationship with them. So oftentimes you're gonna find girls who are there with their girlfriends. You're gonna find girls who are there with a party. You're gonna find girls who are doing something, they're busy. Well, you have two options, right? Maybe they like you, maybe they don't. So you gotta figure out if they like you and go for them, if they like you. But maybe they like you, maybe they're in love with you, maybe they wanna like hook up with you and have your babies in the bathroom, but they just can't get away from their party. They can't get away from their sister who's getting engaged. Right? They can't uh, you know, get away from their weird social circle dynamic. So you have two options. You gotta screen logistics. You need to figure out, is she available? Yes or no. If she's not available, get her social media, get her Instagram, get her number, try to meet up another day. And if she is available, you gotta aim to take her home. Maybe invite her back for drinks, maybe invite her back for a fun after party, maybe go invite her back to meet your dog and hang out and play Uno doesn't really matter. You essentially just need to screen the girls who are down for you, then screen those girls' logistics to figure out if they're available. And if they're available, hang out with them that night. If they're not available, hang out with them another day, right? But you want to find the girls who like you, who are available, who are mostly available, who have good logistics. Therefore, you're not wasting time talking to a girl who doesn't like you. You're not wasting time talking to a girl who's not available because she has a boyfriend. Maybe the girl likes you, but she has a boyfriend. Maybe the girl likes you, but she lives in Kansas and has a flight out to Kansas in the morning. Well, you wanna find the girls who are going to be around for the short term or the long term, so you guys can have a fun time together. So it's a win-win. So it's not a win-lose. It's not you being a creepy, weird dude picking up girls, but it's a win-win where she's meeting a cool guy, you're meeting a cool girl, and you guys are having fun together, but she's also available because you know she's available that night, maybe she's available tomorrow, maybe she's available next Wednesday for lunch, right? You wanna find those girls who are available. So let's say she's not available, no worries, nice to meet you, I actually gotta run, I gotta go meet someone, super cool to meet you, I'm gonna go get a drink, I'll see you later, right? No harm, no foul, very respectful, very empathetic, right? Not just saying, oh, you have a boyfriend, sorry, bye. Oh, you, you have to fly home to Kansas tomorrow? Well, I don't wanna to talk to you because I'm looking for pussy. You don't wanna do that, you don't wanna say that. You don't wanna come off that way. You wanna be a respectful gentleman. And so it's best to just say, hey, no worries, it's so great to meet you. Oh, you know what? It's I gotta go meet my friend, it's so great to meet you. I'll, I'll see you around, okay? You wanna be respectful. Okay, and then you wanna go for the girls who are available, who do want to potentially go home with you tonight. So you always wanna make sure there's consent and respect in all parts of the interaction. You don't wanna be talking to a girl who doesn't wanna to talk to you. If you get that energy or that vibe, it's best to say, hey, no worries, don't worry, we don't have to talk, we don't have to have a conversation, run away. But you wanna make sure every step of the way there's consent and respect, it's a win-win. She wants to be there, she's excited to be with you, she's excited to go home with you. You wanna find those girls. Now, if you're having trouble finding those girls, you always do a live coaching program with me, a boot camp or immersion. We'll actually teach you how to be a more charismatic and confident and attractive version of yourself. If you're having trouble finding those women, you typically need to improve your aesthetic, your fashion, your communication, so you can actually become that guy who is attractive to women. Oftentimes, you're trying to do this, you're trying to go out and meet girls, but maybe you're not dressing well. Maybe you're not carrying yourself with a high degree of communication and confidence. Maybe you're not carrying yourself with attractive behavior that makes women feel emotions. Well, you can always fix that, right? But you need to always make sure every step of the way, you're making her feel comfortable as well. So that's pretty much it for part two. We'll see you guys in part three. If you haven't seen part one, part two, and part three, make sure to watch all three of these videos and we'll see you guys in part three.
Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach and relationship expert. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure to watch part one, part two, and part three of this three part video series about how to pull girls home from nightclubs in a very consensual and respectful way. Because this content can change your life, can change your dating life, and it's a lot of fun to learn. And make sure to follow me on all my social media. If you have any questions, link to the bottom of the screen or in the description. Join my inner circle of Telegram group. Add me on my new Instagram, Drunk Justin. Too. and make sure to add me on snapchat watch my daily stories and get in touch with me if you have any questions you can always message me on social media i actually reply to every single message and i read every single one as well and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified of new videos and we'll see you guys very soon in a new video also before you go click the like button so this video does well on the youtube algorithm i really do appreciate that thank you so much and my name is justin mark i'll talk to you very soon peace out